what's going on everybody? Manny here from House Cervantes Reacts. And right now I am reacting to uh, one of them Honest trailers. I've been watching Honest trailers since forever. I think when they came out with the first Avengers Honest trailers. I've been, I've been watching it for years and years and years. They made a billion of them. It's Christmas season. It's December. Winter. 2019. Uh, they're going with Jingle All The Way with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Let's see uh, what kind of jokes they could crack on this one. Three, two, one, go. This episode is brought to you by Never Phil Surrender, Hartman? a Galaxy Quest documentary. Phil Hartman was uh, link slash Never Surrender. Funny guy. Rest in peace, though. It's a wonderful life. Prove that everyone has value. Home Alone showed us why we shouldn't take family for granted. But one holiday film will teach us. Christmas turns everyone into an asshole. <laughs> Jingle all the way. Are you ready for a Schwarzenegger comedy? Don't worry, it has just as much violence as his other stuff. He'll play Howard Langston, your ordinary Austrian bodybuilder mattress kingpin. You're my number one customer. You're my number one customer. You're my number one customer. When his neglected son wants a special toy for Christmas, Howard will play a one-man trip. Is that Anakin? To buy his kids the kid is a kid Anakin? Necessary. Whether that means lying that to his wife's face. I got the Tillerman doll. Grabbing a child by the face. Nicole! Um, I'm missing the jokes, dude. animal in the face. <laughs> you started it. <laughs> It's a music change and some blood packs away from being a hard Big horse show. slaughter fest. This is nothing but a harmless Christmas package. Watch a mad dash to find a limited release toy in a world without smartphones or eBay, where you were constantly forced to interact with ugh, other people. Like the only other global star on Arnie's level in 96, Sinbad. He'll play the rival Sinbad is the Irish, man, dude. An alcoholic mailman who, with so many assaults, kidnappings, and felonies by the end of this thing, you just know it will be his last Christmas as a free man. Merry Christmas. Wow. Yeah, it's Anakin. Sorry, kid. That's going to the evidence locker. Maybe one of the cops has a son who hates him, too. Are there any redeeming characters in this movie? No. His wife is a nagging cliche. Where are you? Do you have any idea what time it is? Please tell me that you did not forget that doll. You can't be going to the office. <laughs> <laughs> The neighbor, Phil Hartman. Bless Phil Hartman! Plowing his way through every mom in the <laughs> And Santa? Santa is a lie. Just a bunch of ex-cons running bootleg toys out of a warehouse. You'll even want to punch Chris Parnell in the face. And you like Chris Parnell. <laughs> I don't know who Chris Parnell is. So enjoy a Christmas film that has so little love for the holiday, it comes after the credits. That one can only hope is a satire of commercialism, because it spends 80 minutes of showing you the dark, malevolent forces of capitalism turning us into beasts. And exactly one minute reminding us that family was the true gift all along. Huh, maybe they expand on this in the sequel. Kill it! Kill it with fire! I didn't even know they made a Starting. sequel. The goggles, they do nothing. Sin bad in this movie. <laughs> oh no, don't say I that. You may remember me from such films as Sergeant Belko, Loaded Weapon 1, and Amazon Women on the Moon. The Phantom Menace. Okay, Booster. Howard? Howard okay, Howard, Booster. Howard, Howard, <laughs> Howard, 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 Howard? Even worse, Santa. And modern fandom. <laughs> Last action figure. Ah, I think I'm getting the hang of this. I am so glad they didn't make Iron Man in the 90s. Ah! Thanks for watching. By Graptar. Nice. Okay, that was funny. They still got it. Damn. Uh, a lot of good jokes in there. You know what? I wouldn't... I don't know. If you're getting paid for it, good. But I don't really want... Who wants to go through movies? I don't know. Maybe it's fun for them. They get paid, so... Because it looks like they, they dissect movies and characters and dialogue and try to... You know, because I always say, like, Oh, this guy just does this per thing over and over again in the movie. They point out, so I don't got the patience for that. But they're getting paid, so maybe you make patience because you're getting money. Uh, anyways, that was hilarious. Uh, good job, guys. Anyways, that's it. That's my reaction. I hope you guys liked it. Don't do drugs. Keep it safe. Keep it safe. Peace.